Hey everyone, it's your friendly neighborhood Jonathan from Bizarro Lens, and I'm here doing another Bizarro view for you guys. This week, I'm going to be doing Moonlight. <laughs> what's, you, what's you looking at me like that for? What, man? Come on, you just drove down here? Yeah. Is you, so, this is a movie that came out uh, very limitedly in December. It did come out here because we're from Miami and this movie was taking place here. I didn't get to catch it then. I caught it now that it's wide release uh, in January and got to check it out with some of the guys and I'm going to do a review on it. The other guys, if you haven't seen, did a review of Silence and Split. Check those out. But for Moonlight, this is really the first thing that the director Barry Jenkins has ever done that anyone's ever seen. Um, he's actually from here, from the city of Miami, and obviously he made the movie here, so it feels authentic, which is a first positive. But he went to college actually at FSU, so he's made a bunch of shorts. I've seen a couple of them, you can check them out. My Josephine's one, you can find it on Vimeo. And the DP of that actually dp this, so it's a really cool story if you see it. Um, this guy's been you know, working his ass off for a long time to finally get something, and he did. And so when you see this movie, First thing you see is that it was made for really cheap. There's really nobody you recognize in it other than Janelle Mane and Mahershala Ali, I believe is how you say his name. Uh, he's Cottonmouth from Luke Cage or also from House of Cards. I haven't seen that show, but I know he's in there. Um, but other, like he's in it and he's obviously on all the trailers to kind of try to sell it. But he's not in the movie as much as you think. I'll put it that way. The real character study of the movie is with the kid. And that's where we start off with the positive. So. First of all, first positive is the acting of the children. I thought the kid acting for Chiron, who's the main character's name, who they call him Little, and he goes to different stages of life in this movie. So there's three different actors that play Chiron. There's a like nine-year-old, 16-year-old, and then maybe 30 years old. They don't really say later on. But all three of those actors kill it. It's great narrative. It's it's another positive is how it's kind of edited and put together. It feels like such a small story, but it's bigger than that. Like uh, it has a lot of social commentary, and that's really cool. It talks a lot about things that happen in urban communities, such as being gay and in a community where that's not accepted. You know, things, different ideas like that. If you're not into that kind of thing, I can see you not enjoying this movie, though. Um, another positive is the acting of the mom. I'm the only. I'm the only. No, 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 no. You gonna listen. To who, ma? Huh? To you? I can't remember her name, but it's Money Penny from James Bond. That's Chiron's uh, biological mother in the film. She does a great job, like powerful acting, definitely a lot of good topics, talking about drugs affecting urban communities um, and the school systems. Like there's a lot of really good themes in there that, that feel really authentic, really real, and really things that are still happening today and that were happening back then, and it kind of goes through time. Um, negatives of this movie, I can't really say I have any. Like, I think it's it's edited well, it's paced well. Everything about it is really enjoyable. The only negative I can see it having is that it doesn't connect to a wider audience because it's so urban, but I don't think that's been an issue because clearly the reviews have been good, people have been enjoying it. I think that even if you didn't grow up in any of these communities, you understand where these people are coming from. There's a universal theme of just accepting yourself and knowing who you are, so that's cool. Another positive is the score of the film. It's scored well. Also, the lighting. There's some scenes in here where it's just one particular that really comes to mind, where the mom, uh, Chiron's mom, is yelling at him, and it's like slow motion, and it's inaudible, and there's just red light coming on the side, and then the door closes, and the light goes away. Like, it was just really lit well, it was shot well, the cinematography was amazing. All in all, I really enjoyed the movie. You guys should check it out. It's one of the best films of the year, and I give it 10 fake gold teeth out of 10. So that's been it for the review. Let me know if you guys enjoyed it. Leave comments down below what you think of the movie. Uh, go check out all our other reviews. They're on the channel. There's, there's also a spoiler one for Assassin's Creed. You should check it out because it's, it's fun. If it's not out yet, then click a little thing so you get a notification if it's out because it's really funny. Or bitch at us. <sighs> yeah. Bitch at us in the comments. That's Jake behind the camera. He yeah. said he's your favorite, but he's not. I'm your favorite. That's not true. Peace.